Hey everybody, it's extremely cold outside. In a few days, it's gonna drop down below freezing. So I have a few plants out here that I really don't want to lose. What I'm gonna do is take it inside and put it into a hydroponic setup and try to squeeze it into my tent and make some room for it. So here's a plant that I'm going to save. This is my white tie, one of my favorite plants. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and dig it up and then rinse off the roots. Um, the surrounding plants uh, are just other plants that I, I'm not going to take inside, so I'm just going to leave it here. So what we need to do is try to not damage the roots of this plant as much as possible. This container is very shallow, so it's, it's kind of easy to, to dig up. You can lose the topsoil. If you damage some roots, it's fine. You need to save the, the main roots. So there we are. This is what I have. So in order to not damage this, what we're gonna do is use a water hose to hose it down and wash this off. So let's go over here. All right, here we are. Just See how clean that comes off. All right, and while you're at it, go ahead and rinse the plant down to uh, get rid of any pests that are on here. It's very important that you wash this down and try to get rid of anything that may be on here as possible before you take it inside because you may not be able to see it but they will come out like aphids and stuff like that and it'll be a big problem for your indoor plants. So what I recommend is rinse this down, spray some neem oil on it and then rinse it off again. Uh, soap and water works well as well if you don't have any neem oil. I'm gonna go ahead and wash this off with some soap and water and then I'll come back and then we'll do the transplant process. Alright guys, here we are. I'm just gonna rinse my plant down with soap and water. Just put it in your sink. Use a little bit of this soap and create as much bubble as you can. Like so. And because the plant is so small and it's, it's very easy to, to, to just dip in here and rinse off, so... This is 100% certain that no pests will be on here. And if your plants have mites or whatever, this method works as well. Like I got the soap on in the roots and all, but that's fine. I'm going to rinse it off. This is like giving your plants a bath. All right, we're all set. Let's go ahead and transplant this. This is a six inch net cup that you can buy at your local hydroponic store. Um, there's a hole there, but it shouldn't be there. I just cut it uh, for another purpose, but this is a one I'm reusing. Feed the roots through like this. And then we're gonna keep the plant station like so. Just hold it with something. We're gonna throw it in there.
and just try to keep the plant uh, center and then pull it pull it up a little bit so that it can sort of like st stabilize itself and then just trying to put more cubes in there to keep the plant stable okay it's uh, all good to go now so the next thing we need to do is fill this entire bucket up with five gallon of water okay the water has been filled and now we, what we need to do is put in some nutrients for nutrients we're going to use the maxi grow and the instructions here said uh, one to two teaspoon per gallon but uh, I'm just gonna go with the lower number for five gallons I normally use five teaspoon it comes with a measuring spoon one, two, three, four, five and then we'll just stir this up okay let's go ahead and pour it in there and as you notice um, the plant is going to be submerged underwater this is going to be a deep water culture method so we will have to use an air pump all right we're done so uh, let's go ahead and move this into our tent and then I'll show you what it looks like all right here's my tent I have a few plants in there already so I'm gonna have to ship things around and let me go ahead and organize this and then I'll come back and show you what's going on and maybe give you a little tour around the tent all right uh, there's my other plant in there with the the pump running I have two pumps in there temperature is around 80 with nice aeration there I'm gonna move one of it out and use it on this one so here's one of my pump and you can shape it and just drop it in here then take a closer look See the bubbles running there so that's perfect all right there it is guys I'm complete everything's ready to go so let me go ahead and give you a little bit of a tour okay here's my tent it's a two feet four feet across and then five feet high and in here I have a heat mat this thing works really well it kind of like keeps everything warm here so uh, this is sitting in my garage so it does need some more heat because in the winter it can get pretty cold so and then I have my pump there which is a, just an aquarium pump those things work really will work those things work really well because it doesn't make a lot of noise you can adjust the pump the strength and it has uh, two outputs you can buy one that has more but um, <coughs> that's the one I choose to use and then my power cord is running on a timer behind here and it's set to run 10 hours a day so the fan here is not needed but uh, if I do need it that's there and so uh, the lights I'm using right now is the Endomax uh, CMH which is a crystal metal halide 150 and uh, if you want to see more information on this I did a review on it so browse my channel here's some more information about this thing but you can check the video out for more info but there it is guys uh, everything's looking good I try to keep this as clean as possible and not try to crowd everything like I do all the time but uh, if you guys want to see more updates uh, comment below and let me know and I'll see if I can make more videos on this that's all for now please like comment subscribe and uh, share this with your friends if you 
find this video helpful. Thank you for watching.